Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video. Welcome to another episode about Laravel. This episode is brought to you by SkySilk. If you're looking for a powerful, reliable, and affordable VPS in the cloud, SkySilk.com is the answer for you. Look no further for amazing, powerful cloud computing machine starting as low as $1 per month. Click the link in the description below to learn more. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to use Laravel built-in model bindings, because those are really important and we should actually figure out how to properly use them in order to speed up a lot our development process. So what we currently have right now, if we access our routes and the web routes here, we are passing the slug to the route whenever we change page. And automatically in our front-end controller, whenever we tap page, we're manually grabbing from the database the page that matches the slug that we're getting. Laravel allows us to remove, to get rid of this extra step by using the built-in model binding. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, let's access the nav.blade.php, which is the blade file that we're using to print and loop through all the pages that we're grabbing from the composer service provider. Here we're passing as an href parameter the slug of the page. If we change it to id, and of course if we access our front end now and we refresh, now the page goes to form.dev slash one and we're gonna have an error because we're passing the wrong URL so there's no page that has a slug of one and we have a PHP error, it's totally normal. If we wanna change this super quickly, we could potentially access back the front end controller and change these to ID and then update these and grab the page that matches the ID. But actually, because we're getting the ID, Laravel automatically has a built-in model binding that fetches the page or the model, in our case the page, that matches the ID because the ID is the currently primary key identifier used in the database. So these we change it to ID, so we need to change also in the web route, instead of slug we change it to ID, and here instead of doing this and grabbing manually using the model to fetch this data, let's comment this out, let's simply type hint this ID variable as it was a page. So we're saying, hey, this ID, it's actually the model binding key of the page model. And if we dd, so var dump and die, the ID, look what happened. We access back our page, we go to the about page, we are on forward slash one, we are printing, if we open the original array, look at here, we have the ID one, the title is the about page with the slug and the content of the page. So automatically Laravel is fetching the data of this page from the database with the ID without us writing anything. We can totally remove this and Laravel does this automatically just by simply type in thing, the attribute that we're passing to that specific method, in our case, the page method. So in order to make this work back, let's change this variable to page and let's change these attribute to page. So we're passing the same and now automatically is grabbing the page with the model binding. And if we access our front end, we refresh. And of course we have the about page with the content. If we go to a blog and contact, everything works. And this is pretty fantastic, but of course, unfortunately, with this method, we're losing the permalink, we're kind of losing the readable URL that it's really good in SEO. And it's also good for the user knowing where they are and just like not returning random numbers in their URL bar. So we can update these, we can change the default model binding to point to whatever we want. In our case, we want to point it to the slug. So let's do it. First of all, let's revert these back to slug, what we had before, so we're passing the actual slug. Of course, if we try again, if we actually go back to the home page and we click on the about, we're gonna have a 404, but we can force Laravel and say, hey, don't use the ID, but expect the slug in order to have the model binding. And to do that, we need to actually update the model. And the model is what we created before is the page model, so if we access the page model in our app root directory. So if we scroll back up here, app, we open here, page model. If we access this model, we can override the model binding by defining a really simple function called public function get route key name. 
all camel case. The first word is lowercase and all the other words are capitalized. Open and close the parentheses. No parameters needs to be passed. And here we need to just return a string that represents the database column or the attribute in this model that we want to use as a key name for our route as a model binding. In our case we want to use the slug and this has to be passed as a string and let's be sure that this string that we're passing perfectly matches an attribute in our database column and if you're not 100% sure where what is your database or what's the attribute name, just always access the database and in our case we access the Laravel, check the model, in our case the pages, that is the table that matches the model and check the actual name of the row of the attribute, in our case is the slug that we have about blog and content that we're using to print in our URL, perfect. So now that we did that, we're passing the slug we don't need to change anything else. Automatically Laravel will detect that this page variable it's actually the slug and it's binded to the page model and automatically will grab and fetch the page for us based on the slug that matches the record in our database. So if we access back our front end and we refresh the about, now the about page work. Then the blog page works and the content page works. So everything works back as it was supposed to be. But we improved a lot our controller by removing extra logic and extra PHP methods that we don't really need because Laravel takes care for us to do that. And also we can improve it even more. If we're not passing any other things, like we're not doing a post request and we're just passing one parameter in our case, the page slug, we can absolutely remove the request before the page. And of course, if we try again and we refresh this page and we go about block contact, everything works as it's supposed to be. So you can see how our controller gets easier and easier to read and really simple and really linear by leveraging built-in methods of Laravel, which are really important because this gives us the ability to do a lot of cool stuff in the future that we're gonna see throughout this series. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This was a super quick video to show you how Laravel checks the model binding and how it automatically fetches the data in the database without us actually writing anything which is super convenient thank you so much guys for watching please give it a like or subscribe if you want and until the next one as usual happy coding